Welcome back to Living Local. Our next guest began his career as a lawyer in New Jersey and now living in Florida. He's an author, motivational speaker, one of the most successful podcasters in the United States with WDW Radio and founder of the Dream Team Project. And here to tell us via Zoom all about it is the one and only Lou Mangello. Lou, how are you, sir? I'm great. Thanks so much for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely, dude. I'm a huge fan, and I, I'm, I'm honored to be able to talk to you today. So let's first talk about what led you to where you are today. You took an unusual leap of faith that has really, really paid off. And how did that all happen for you? So very quickly, you know, Tristan, that you're a friend, not a fan. Right? <laughs> Don't love that fan word. We're friends, even though we haven't met yet. Um, so, yeah, so I'm a lawyer in New Jersey. I've got an IT consulting company on the side. I have this idea to... Uh, to make something, because I was in the service business, to make something once and resell it, the idea of a book came to be. And rather than try and write something about the law or computers, I really wrote the book that I wanted to read, which was a Walt Disney World trivia book. Um, I learned everything I could about book publishing and writing and just sort of the personal challenge to see if I can do it. Um, in 2004, my first book came out. I had found a publisher, started podcasting in 2005, community formed, long story longer, a couple of years later, um, I sold everything that I had. I brought money to my closing, which, as you know, is not the way it's supposed <laughs> to work. But I took the leap of faith uh, to move to Florida to be where what I do is. And I live right behind the castle now. <laughs> That's awesome. So when you first took that step, what were some of the ways you let create, you know, creativity overcome fear? Because I know that's a big part of a lot of entrepreneurs' uh, journey. So honestly, Tristan, it was a little bit of fear that actually prompted the move. And it wasn't the fear of failure as much as it was the fear of regret. I didn't want 5, 10, 20 years to go by and go and me look back and go, you know, I wonder what would have happened if I do this. Um, I think what if is, is incredibly powerful. And I think sometimes we worry that what if I fail as opposed to what if I give this a shot? And what if I'm yeah. able to make this work? What if I could sort of live this life and lifestyle that that I dreamed about, um, yeah, and that's that's still sort of my my sort of guiding principle now. Yeah, and you meet entrepreneurs from all walks of life, of course. And what is the best piece of advice you have for them for someone that's kind of looking to take a similar leap? Uh, you know what? I'll boil it down to a simple word. Um, it's believe. You, yeah. you have to believe unquestionably, unwaveringly about you and your goal and your vision and your dream, right? Even Walt, we'll sort of bring it back to Walt, you know, when, a, when you believe in the thing, believe in it unquestionably. And mm -hmm. I think you have to have that faith, not just in, you know, whatever higher power, but that, that faith in, in you and that vision, because it is a very sort of circuitous, hilly route to get from point A to point B, and, and you have to really believe in what you're doing. Yeah, and you know, you you know, I'm 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 interviewing a legend in in my in my world right now. But you know, you you uh, you interview legends all the time. Can you pick one or two that you have interviewed that have had the biggest impact on you yourself? So it's interesting because there's there's some people that I have had a chance to talk to from a, a Disney perspective and from an entrepreneurial perspective, yeah. which have for me personally and hope for others helped move the needle. But if I had to sort of go back in time, and I've been very blessed to interview people whose work I have admired and appreciated for so long, um, and this is not to set like name drop, but interviewing <laughs> Julie Andrews for me was just like such a huge yeah. thrill, and it was like the one name that I knew that my mom would know <laughs> when I interview her, and she um, she's everything. You know, they say don't meet your heroes, but she was everything that you wanted and hoped and expected Dame Julie Andrews and Mary Poppins to be. Yeah, I bet. Now, beyond WDW, your books, your audio tours, which you can all find at lumangelo.com, you're the founder of the Dream Team Project. This is a wonderful organization. Can you tell us more about its creation and what it's all about? Yeah, so when I started writing my first book um, in 2003, my dad was diagnosed with cancer, um, and I drove him every day from New Jersey into Sloan Kettering in New York, where I would sit, you know, for hours working on the book, and we would pass the pediatric ward and floor every day, and I said, you know, I want to do something to help these kids, not just by investing in long-term research, but really sort of impact them now, and I committed right then and there that I would, and still to this day have, take a portion of the proceeds of everything that I do and contribute it to a wish-granting organization I've worked with, Make-A-Wish Foundation of America, for a long, long time. And Tristan, this honestly has nothing to do with me. 
mm-hmm. but the community uh, and family around me of, of WW Radio that has raised more than five hundred fifty thousand wow. dollars uh, for Make a Wish <laughs> to send some of those children and their families to Walt Disney World, and it it yeah. it makes of all the things that I do, it's the thing that I know truly makes a difference in the lives of people that need it most. Yeah, you know, you're you're doing such amazing work down there and you bring joy to a lot of us. I know when I've been going through difficult times, whether it's been a divorce or bankruptcy or anything else, uh, you know, I've turned to you. So you're, you and your podcast have meant a lot to me over the years. Um, how can our viewers learn more about everything that you bring to the world, Lou? So you can find everything I do on the Disney side of things at WDWRadio.com. And I also love helping other entrepreneurs and solopreneurs and people that you know want to turn the thing that they love into the thing that they do um, with coaching and mentoring and events and as well as speaking to organizations about how they can bring Disney into their business and you can find all of that at LouMongello.com. Well Lou, dude, thank you so much. I'm, I'm so thankful that you were here today. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Yeah. For more information, you can visit lumonjello.com or wdwradio.com. We'll have all those details posted at ourquadcities.com. More Living Local continues after the break. Stay with us.